Hi, I'm Jojo Spatafora, a licensed New York real estate agent with realestatesiny.com. In this video, I would like to discuss some important differences between owning and renting a property. In today's market, what makes sense when buying versus renting? As many people do not realize, the monthly rent prices today are higher than in the past. Tenants on Staten Island are paying anywhere from $1,100 to $2,500 a month in rent alone. The price depending on the size of the apartment and the location. Now, add in your utilities and you are paying far more than a monthly mortgage would be when owning a home, condo, or a co-op. While there are the advantages of not having to pay property taxes and having low maintenance when you are renting, there are also many disadvantages. Unless you're part of a rent-to-own agreement, every dollar you pay in rent is gone forever. No matter how long you remain in your rental unit, you can't build equity in the property under a standard lease agreement. If you plan on staying in the same location for more than a few years, buying may be a smarter financial choice over renting. Over time, with each payment, you continuously grow equity in the property you own. There are also tax advantages on mortgage interest paid and local real estate tax each year. As a renter, there is no return on investments. Although upfront costs may save you money initially, long-term benefits of home ownership begin to outweigh upfront cost savings. Unless you live somewhere with rent control laws, your landlord has the ability to raise your rent once your current lease expires. Rental property owners raise rents to match the rent increase in the market to compel current tenants to vacate the premises rather than to sign a new lease, or for many other reasons. If you maintain a good relationship with your landlord, you're less likely to face rent increases from year to year. No matter what you do though, you can't exercise complete control over your rent. By contrast, homeowners with fixed rate mortgages make fixed loan payments each month, regardless of what the local real estate market does. As a homeowner, there is potential for rental income. Even if you don't initially think of your home as an investment property, you can turn it into a source of income. This can partially or totally offset your mortgage, tax, and insurance payments on it. The easiest way to do this is by renting out part or all of the property provided you follow all local rental property laws. As a renter, you have limited housing security. While most jurisdictions have generous renter protection laws that prohibit landlords from evicting without cause and require adequate notice, which is typically 30 or 60 days, tenants won't be given an option to renew their leases. No law entitles you to remain in your rental unit indefinitely. Homeowners don't face such uncertainty. They can remain in their homes as long as they stay current with their mortgage payments. Another benefit as a homeowner is you also have the creative freedom to do what you want with your home, which is not generally available to renters. You can renovate your home as you desire, as long as you are not violating local building codes or homeowners association rules. These are just a few pros and cons when it comes to the decision of owning versus renting. If you have any questions about whether you should rent or buy, feel free to contact me at 718-966-9669. Be sure to look forward to my next video where I will be discussing options for first-time homeowners, homeownership and mortgages, as well as the benefits of owning as opposed to renting.